I wanted to show you guys, now that it's nap time, Gray's playing downstairs and Porter's taking a nap. I wanted to show you guys some of the updates we've done on the house. I don't even know that I've really showed you guys like an updated like house tour. Our house is in no means like looking good for a house tour, like it's not clean. So I'll just show you like here and there things that we've done. One of the main rooms that we've done a lot to is the living room, which makes sense because like we're in there the most, like we're there every night. Um, I'll turn some lights on. So I will show you guys what we've done. Ignore the mouse trap game that Gray was setting that up. First of all, we bought a new couch and an ottoman. We got these from Big Sandy Superstore and it's huge and awesome. I love it. Along with the couch, we also bought a new recliner and it's electric so we can plug it in and it can, you know, move the legs up and down. And we love that. Uh, we bought a new Christmas tree. Of course, that's not staying. It's just going to be here for the month of December, but that is new. One of the biggest new differences that we've done to this living room is the people who used to live here, they had their TV here. They always just had a painting up here. They never like put a TV up there and we hated that. We didn't want to have to like only have a small TV. As you can see, like the cabinet space is so tiny. You could only get up to like a 30 some inch TV and we were not having that. So we paid a contractor to come and he put an outlet up here so that we could put a new TV up. And at our old house, we had a 55 inch TV, but the space was so much bigger. We thought we could buy a new one. So we have bought a, this is a 70 inch TV and we love it. It's awesome. The picture is huge. We went from having like a 24 inch TV. I think it was like, it was 20 or 30 inches or something to a 70 inch TV. And it is so nice. We absolutely love it. The TV might be a little big for the space, but that's okay. We got it on sale on Black Friday, so we were super happy with that purchase. So yeah, lots of changes that came to the living room. And we're still trying to figure out like what to put in the cabinets on either side. Right now I just have like Christmas stuff and then like pictures, but I don't know. I got to find something else to put in there because I don't, obviously the Christmas stuff will go away after December and I don't know if I like all the pictures up there or not, so we're still figuring that out. In addition to having a handyman come and put in an outlet so we could put a TV in our living room, we also paid him to switch out our light over our kitchen table. The light over the kitchen table was fine. It was just small and outdated. So we wanted to pick something new and we did. So here is the uh, light that we've put in. It's kind of like a barn light. I don't know, it's white and silver. It just kind of goes with the space. So we love that. It's much more bright. I'll show you guys. Wow, it's very bright. Um, also, we got this table from my grandparents. Um, they had this table in their old house, and then when they moved, they realized they didn't need this table anymore. They really used it for like when the grandkids came over, and now a lot of the grandkids are like older, and so they didn't need this table. And we were looking for a table. We were actually going to buy one, and then they were like, just take our old uh, table, and it's white and goes with the aesthetic of the house. So yeah, we were happy with that. And I don't know that we'll keep it forever, but for now it was free and that's a great price for us. So we were super happy. It seats six people, but it also comes with a leaf. And then I think we have like two extra chairs downstairs. So really it could be expanded to eight people. So we love it. It's huge. The one chair in the back, back here behind all this junk, it's a bench seat. So super cute. The kids love sitting on it. It also has little pullout drawers. You can put stuff in there. Um, we had a table that was similar to this growing up and we always put like napkins and stuff in there. So anyway, it goes great with the space. Um, I don't think anything's too new with the kitchen. It's all about the same. We did get an air fryer. Um, I found it on Black Friday on sale and we have been loving that. Uh, one of the biggest updates that we did was um, converting the front room and the dining room into a dining room and office. When we bought this house, and I'm sure you can go back on my like 
empty house tour and you can see they had a front room and then they had a dining room well i hate front rooms i never use them and so we just decided to move the dining room into the front room and make it a dining slash front room and then the back room instead of being a dining room we have converted it into anthony's office as you know anthony works from home he goes into the office like maybe once every other week um, but for the most part he's home so we needed him to be in a space that was a, that he was able to close the door have privacy for meetings and things like that um, but he was but this house didn't have an office space uh, the previous people had their desk down in the basement um, so Anthony was down there for a while and then um, finally we kicked him out my dad actually came in and patched the wall in between the two rooms and then um, we've just been slowly getting that room like put together so I'll show you guys what we have so far it's not finished we still need to find things to put on the walls and which is like the case for most of this house and also i think we're looking for like a couple of cabinets to put more stuff in but i'll show you what we have now okay so like here's the kitchen and then this is anthony's office so there used to be no door here there was a door space but no door and then this is anthony's office so it's actually really nice like i said this used to be a dining room so this wall right here did not exist my dad put it in there used to the wall here existed and the wall here existed but this like the sunken in part was all just open into the front room so my dad closed it up and we bought this bookshelf off of like overstock and really it's been all of Anthony's Bath and Body Works swag that he gets um, and then a couple of his like D&D &D books that he plays with um, so we're still trying to find things to put on the shelves but we got these shelves and then we got him a desk and he loves it it's l-shaped so it's got tons of counter space and then it's got lots of storage up above and then right there as well and then these chairs came from our old house we had these in the front room and so those are here just for people to sit in and when they come and like visit him or like the boys will sit in or whatever and then also we got a new light so it used to have like a hang down light that was like more dining room-esque and then obviously that didn't work in an office and we kept running into it because it hung so low so we ended up getting a ceiling fan to go with the office and i love how it turned out like the black and then it's i don't know if it's hard to tell but like these fan blades are like a grayish color so it kind of matches the desk so anyway that's anthony's office so we're really excited about how it turned out obviously we have some boxes uh, that we're still going through but it's come a long way so we're super happy with how that turned out so i just turned off the lights okay let's see another thing we had the handyman do was our front room it had no overhead light it was like the only room in the house that did not have an overhead light so we had the handyman come and put in a light in our front room and we bought a light for it and we're not sure if we want to keep it or change it out we bought a chandelier and i think it's just too big like because the like it needs to go on like a higher space like the wall or the the ceiling is too short for it but i don't know i'll show you guys okay so here it is this is the light fixture we got we just put in one light in like the center of the room even though it's not over our dining table because honestly we really don't know what we want to do with this room yet as you can see we've made it a dining room slash front room and we're just not really sure like what we want to do with this honestly we never use this room we used it when we hosted anthony's family for thanksgiving and that's about it felix likes to sit in this chair my parents dog berkeley likes to sit in that chair but like other than that yeah we don't use this room so it just is what it is we bought like all this furniture is from the previous people that we bought so it's just there we got this rug from my grandparents i'm not 
super in love with it, but it works for now. So yeah, I don't know. This room is just kind of a work in progress, but that's what we have going on now. I love the chandelier. I absolutely love it. I just don't know that it goes with the space, but we'll see how we feel about it. So that's all that went there. Upstairs, I don't think too much has happened. There will be a lot of changes in the coming months uh, when we have our new baby, baby girl. She will kick Porter out of the nursery, put baby girl in there, and then uh, the boys, we're planning on them sharing a room. We're gonna get them bunk beds. My parents actually have two sets of bunk beds at their house in storage. So we're gonna take that and use that for the boys. So that will be coming. It just hasn't happened yet because baby girl hasn't been born yet. I'm keeping Porter in his crib for as long as I can, just like I did with Grayson because he's confined. <laughs> and I like that. And he loves his crib. He's never tried to get out of it. So why break something that ain't? Why fix something that ain't broke? Is that the um, is that the saying or something? Anyway, those changes will come, so I'll show you guys that once that happens. I also want to replace like two of the overhead fans upstairs because they're just outdated. And we were going to pay the handyman to do it, but Anthony says he can do it himself. Once Anthony gets the motivation for that, we're going to do that. We have lots of projects that we have planned, like just some things around the house like on the outside of the house and stuff that just like updates that need to be done. And then we also want to put in a shed. Anthony wants to build the shed. He has high ambitions. I was just going to buy one because we just have a lot of stuff that we need to store like a wheelbarrow, a snow blower, which we just bought one because we have a corner lot and we're going to need it for the sidewalk. So yeah, just things like that. Like we need a snow blower for, or I mean, we need a shed for, um, Anthony wants to build cabinets in our garage, just like how our old garage had cabinets. So we have a lot of like, um, things that we want to do, but it's not like time sensitive. I, so anyway, I think that's mostly up the updates downstairs is the same. Um, we're going to put our old TV down there. Oh, Anthony wants to put a TV in his office. That's another thing. That we want to do but the major updates i just showed you guys it's really coming together and honestly i didn't realize how it would make me feel but these updates have really made the house feel like ours i feel like whenever you move to a new house if it's been owned by previous people i just feel like it takes you a while to to feel like it's your home. And with our old house, I just don't know that I ever felt like it was our home. I mean, we lived there for like over five years, but we didn't do that many updates to it because we were just poor and just dealt with it. And with this house, we came into some money and just we've accumulated money over time. And so we've been able to put updates into it and it just feels like our house like the previous people didn't have a huge tv over their mantle they didn't have these certain light fixtures or even a light uh an overhead light in the front room so little by little we're changing this house to make it ours a lot of it is still like the the previous owner's house but a lot of it is our house now and um i'm sure once i put up more um wall decorations like it'll feel like ours too but it's really helped me feel better about this house and excited about this house not that I wasn't excited but it just felt like I was a stranger like living in someone else's home I don't know let me know down below if you if you felt like that when you moved into your current house or previous house or whatever but anyway I just want to show you guys we're super excited with how the house is coming along we've like I've said we have more things we want to do with it but those will come in time we're still loving this house we love the location the neighbors are awesome um one of our neighbors across the way gave the boys like a bowling ball toy set they've been loving that so super nice people that we've seen and we don't miss our old house i don't miss it at all um i might miss the location of it just because it was a lot closer to different things but i don't miss the inside of it or how old it was, all the updates it needed. I feel so much better in this house. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the, those updates. Um, maybe once Christmas goes away, I'll show you guys like an updated, like neutral house tour and show you guys like the whole house and how we're like getting settled in. But for now, like that, those are just the little things that we had done. We had those done like two weeks ago. So it just recently happened that we made all these updates. So 
just wanted to keep you guys updated. Yeah, let me know if there's any more updates you guys think we should do.